And now, Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Eric Ash. Low pressure that's been off the coast past couple days has moved inland, will move over Idaho today and into tomorrow. And with it is it, it is going to bring precipitation, starting with rain with some rumbles of thunder and then turning to snow rain mixed tonight and solid snow with accumulation. We have a winter weather advisory for northwest Wyoming and Yellowstone. Also anticipate for Island Park as well. 3 p.m. today, all day Saturday, expiring noon on Sunday, three to eight inches of snow with gusts up to 35 miles per hour will create blowing snow and drifting snow impacting your visibility. We do have a wind advisory in effect starting at 9 a.m. today. Winds can be higher at 55 miles per hour, especially coming out of the Magic Valley portions of the Central Mountains and spilling into the Snake River Plain. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's a threat. So if you are driving lightweight vehicles or empty semi trailers, be careful, especially if you're driving perpendicular. If you're driving Driving west to east or east to west, these winds will be coming out of the south and then shifting coming out of the west. So if you're driving perpendicular, be careful. The wind can kind of topple you around a bit. Snake River Plain temperatures. Temperatures will be in the 50s today. We've been, we have been knocked down from the 60s. Southeast Highlands, rain and snow. That snow level is going to hang around 7,000 feet to 7,500 feet for the Central Mountains and Eastern Highlands for today and tomorrow. So expect snow above that height. Central Mountains, we're going to expect patchy fog in the morning time, burning off around the 10 o'clock hour. Temperatures will be in the 40s and 50s. Also for the Snake River Plain, do anticipate some areas of fog to still be uh, there. Eastern Highlands, temperatures will be in the 50s and we do have 49 for Afton. For the evening time, Snake River Plain continuing with precipitation in the form of rain and snow. Snow turning to snow tomorrow as our temperatures get colder. Pocatello will drop down to 31 degrees as well as Idaho Falls and American Falls. So below freezing temperatures. Southeast Highlands expecting up to half an inch of snow by the nighttime. By the midnight hour, temperatures will be below freezing. So we're expecting snow and winds will stay strong as well. 33 miles per hour for the Southeast Highlands up to 25 miles per hour for the Central Mountains and still going with the chance of some rumbles of thunder to occur. Eastern Highlands, one to two inches of snow. Temperatures below will be below freezing. Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. So we just got to get through this weekend. Low pressure system affecting us this weekend and then moving out. High pressure will be back next week and that will once again clear our skies and warm us up. This time for the work week, we are going to get back into the 60s by the middle of the work week. Blackfoot has a high of 56 today. Idaho Falls 58 is the high for today. Continuing windy conditions for today and tomorrow for eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. For the central mountains again anticipate snow rain mix and some snow accumulation a high temperature of 53 today getting down to 26 to, or excuse me 25 tonight. For the Teton area a high of 53 getting down to 21 tonight. Back to you, Deanne.